My son, Oren, thinks he's a cyborg. I don't want to burst any bubbles or anything, but I think Oren's, uh... Fucking bruh. What's up, guys? Today, we're going to be watching a little bit of the doc. You're ugly, you're disgusting, you're guilty, give me 200 dollars. Let's dive right in. Who is it? It's your mom. Enter. Scanning. Female. Detected. Carrying hot pockets. 180 degrees. Fahrenheit. You may enter. My son Oren thinks he's a cyborg from the year 2050. I think Oren's uh Bruh mother. Just come down. You were just come down. Our operations. Listen, listen, we listen. are receiving just come programming. Down. He's just He's just scrolling Reddit. <laughs> that's his programming. <laughs> hey man, if 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 that's programming then I've been receiving a lot of programming lately, I'll tell you that. He hasn't said I in over a year. We are alone in this. No one else was chosen to do what we are doing. We need to, you know, save the planet from sudden doom. You don't get it, Mom. It's not a phase. I have to save the human race. I also made lasagna downstairs and I wanted to know if you could, you know, join us. If you're not hungry, thank you. He's not joking around. He turned down a, a delicious home cooked meal. The delicious Italian cuisine. That's commitment, man. Oren on the plane was astro traveling. Every time I turned around to check on him to make sure he was okay, he was zoned out. That is the scariest possible thing I can think about seeing on the plane. I think I'd rather see someone holding a bomb than the guy next to me just fucking. <laughs> I would run the fuck off the plane. Two years ago, he graduated from NYU Business School with a 3.9 GPA. He graduated NYU Business School with a 3.9 GPA. He comes home, he begins to act like a cyborg, sits on his ass all day, doesn't do anything. Yeah, this guy's a genius. Oren is on his computer all day and he very rarely comes down from his room. Welcome to our headquarters. MTV, welcome to our headquarters. Um, he's got merch. This guy has merch in the back. You can tell he went to business school. Expectations when he came home that I wanted him to uh, be a part of, uh, helping me around the house and taking out the garbage and helping me, you know, clean up and helping with groceries and. I don't, I don't have a joke for this part. I just want to show you guys the, the freeze frame, with the heading. That's the joke. But he would isolate. Yes, he would be in his room from early in the morning to four o'clock the next morning. He would be in his room working on, you know, whatever it is that he does on his computer. So in his room, early in the morning, four o'clock the next morning. Anita, I, uh, I think Warren's, you know, I don't want to make too many assumptions, but I'm, I'm thinking he's, you know, let's just say, some Google Home commercials and just greasing his parts a little bit. Anyway, um, anyway, that's, uh, that's going to be about it for today. Um, jokes aside. Mental illness is a very serious issue. Um, obviously, it's not very, very clear whether Oren suffers from anything like that, but um, if any of you guys do or anyone out there does, I recommend seeking professional help um, as soon as possible. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you think do you think he's a cyborg? Do you think he's permafried? Or is he an evil genius? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but besides that, I got a split. Um, I got a cyborg checking my intensity. So I'll see you guys later.